Okay, guys, I'm back again for round two. World's first dark skin activist. Cola Booth was crowned the mother of the dark skin movement okay, guys, by none other than myself, the world's first dark skin activist, Rashida Strober. I crowned Cola Booth the mother of the dark skin movement when nobody understood or knew or realized that that existed. No one understood this. And the reason I'm saying this is because I have people that are plagiarizing me on that. They're just now speaking about Cola Booth after Rashida Strober, the world's first dark skin activist. And they're speaking about her in terms of being the mother of the dark skin movement because I said it, because Rashida Strober said it. And I'm, I'm, I have to make this stuff clear because I cannot allow folks to lie and manipulate these black women they've watched me they've listened to what i said and instead of them being honest they plagiarize they copy they rip off but had it not been for rashida strobel the world's first dark skin activist you wouldn't even even had an inkling or even the thought wouldn't have even came in your mind that cola booth is the mother of the dark skin movement until I put it out there. I'm the person that did that. And everybody else, anybody that's talking about Cola Booth from, and let's see who Cola Booth is. I wanna make sure everybody knows who Cola Booth is. I pulled her up. This is Cola Booth. No one even realized that this woman was the mother of the dark skin movement until I said it. And the reason why I said it is because I am probably the only person that is really truly aware that she was speaking about colorism before YouTube existed. In fact, I started dark skin activism in 98 before I know who Cola Booth was. And as I continued to develop the science of dark skin activism, I ran into her work and I realized that she had been speaking about colorism. That is the reason why I crowned her the mother of the dark skin movement. If any other black woman on YouTube is regurgitating this, they're stealing. Y'all can't see through this. This is important stuff because you can't just come along and lie in a movement and pretend and steal and take. I'm not going to let you do that. These are not the philosophy and opinions of Cola Booth, disclaimer. She has nothing to do with this. This is what Rashida Strober is telling you. This is, I'm giving you the facts. I am giving you the fact of how I saw Cola Booth after I studied her way before YouTube existed, way before anybody know who she was from that perspective. See, y'all knew Cola Booth. A lot of people knew Cola Booth because of the Osama bin Laden. Not until I said Cola Booth is the mother of the dark skin movement did people start to realize, namely the black women who plagiarized me on YouTube and steal and copy, did they realize who this woman was? So you should be thanking me and you should not be lying to your audience that you already created before dark skin activism originated. Then you watched Rashida Strober and ripped off my work. This is what they're doing. So here's further proof. Now, back in two years ago, two years ago, Mind you, folks are just now in 2019 speaking about uh, Cola Booth regarding colorism. They have not done that. Two years ago, I made this video. I actually made it on my YouTube channel, but Cola Booth saw it and she got wind of it and she decided to make this particular video that's on Right here, Let me, let's go ahead and play it because this is further proof. And as you can see, the date stamps two years ago. Now, I'd like to know what was these people two years ago talking about Cola Booth and colorism? They weren't. They watched Rashida Strober and then they began doing it. And here's the proof of me. Actually, I spoke about Cola Booth years before this, but I made a video two years ago. And here's the video right here. And I go and I check my mailbox yesterday, y'all. And look what I got. Look what I got, y'all. This is Cola Booth's book. Uh, I hope you guys can see that. Volcano Woman, book one. 
and not only did she send me um the volcano woman book one she also sent me the book two i have like four compilations right here y'all and i'm excited because cola booth has honored me in her new book okay volcano woman it's a new comic book that she has came out with this woman is a writer she's just completely awesome and she is the mother of the dark skin movement the mother people and, and let me just read to y'all let me let me this is this right here is like this is so special to me like okay I'm, i have to stop it right there this is a video from two years ago i clearly said she was the mother of the dark skin movement who before me was saying that who before rashida strober was said in fact i'm the one that created the entire notion that cola booth was the mother of the dark skin movement because I created dark skin activism and I clearly saw the people who were real advocates and she's the only one. So then this is two years ago, unscrupulous black women on the internet watching everything I do and plagiarizing begin speaking about Cola Boo. But you're not the originator of this. And I'm calling all of you out because you're doing nothing but stealing from my original work. Because the thing is, man, it's a lot of backstory to this. And she's one of the people that I just really respect, really love, and really admire. And it was like, whoa, when I just, man, I just feel so good because it's just like, man, like Cola Booth, like this woman, this woman is like, she is truly my inspiration, y'all. When it comes down to talking about this whole dark skin activism, and a lot of people have said, what in the world is dark skin activism? A lot of people just don't, they don't understand. But today, I'm gonna break it down for y'all. So she actually also, she autographed the book. So let's see you guys. Uh, she says, Dear Rashida, so grateful and happy her work exists. Thank you, sister. And this, I'll let, I hope you guys can see that. I'm putting it there. This is my autograph copy. And she just basically honors me, took the time to honor me and my work in this book. And it's so special to me. And it means so much to me because Cola Booth back in 1998, first of all, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna give you guys some of the backstory here with Cola, with, with, my, with myself in regards to dark skin activism and the birth of dark skin activism and how all of this came about. Cola Booth was one of the, that was the only person, the only person, the only person to speak out on this whole issue of dark skinned female beauty discrimination. Now, we have the internet now, we have social media, we have, we have uh, Facebook, we have YouTube, we have Instagram, we have all these social media outlets where people are talking about dark skin. But, we go back to 1998. I, first of all, grew up being abused for having dark skin. Within my family, it started first. And then when I started to go out into society, you know, in schools and that kind of thing, I experienced what I call dark skin mental abuse, okay? After I had given that speech, I continued the work of dark skin activism, and that's when I ran into the work of Cola Boo. And I realized that this woman, she had been doing it all throughout the 90s. Let me stop right there. You guys can go and watch this video if you want. The truth is right here. I've been consistently saying the same thing for years. It has consistently came from my originality. Rashida Strober has been consistently. Everything that I have said has been original. It's been consistent. And other black women on YouTube have watched and stole. That's a fact. If you're talking about cold, if you're just now, you, you claim to be on this colorism thing and you ain't know about Cola Booth, you're a fucking fraud. If you ain't know about Cola Booth before me, you're a fraud, period. If you didn't know about Cola Booth, let me go back to Cola Booth's picture because I want people to know who she is because I'm honest. I don't have to lie. If you didn't know about Cola Booth, before YouTube and you was introduced her to her by Rashida Strober, you're a fraud, period. You're not sincere, period. Because if you really, really was into this dark skin advocacy, which you're not, you're stealing, you've taken my content, put it on your channel for YouTube views. You already had a built-in audience. You already had it. 
You just switched the shit up when you saw me back in 2015 get all this attention of millions for being the first person to bring this issue to light. You said I'm switching up and I'm talking about dark skin and colorism. You're frauds. You ain't know about no cola boo, period. And that's what I got to say. That's it. Because there ain't nothing else to be said. The truth don't need to. You don't have to really expound on the truth. This is it. If you want to watch the video, um, I'm going to copy and paste it. Anybody can go and watch it. It's from two years ago. I've been consistent. Been saying the same thing. Um, hold on one second. There we go. Okay. Make sure y'all go. This is the donkey of the day. There it is again. This whole donkey of the day episode with me talking about Kendrick Lamar's colorism is it what introduced the entire world, internet, social media to speaking about dark skin. Everybody said I was crazy. They mocked me. Now they copy me. I'm going to sue. As soon as I get the funds, I'm going to take people to court, hold people accountable. If you want to support the dark skin activists financially go to my paypal which is ice cream lady dream at yahoo.com you can also go to my gofundme and um let me go let me go back to the uh, chat and i'm going to click it on here so that you guys can go to the gofundme easy you can go there and you can make a donation i encourage everyone to make a donation 25 dollars or more will get you an autographed copy of my book my goal is to raise a million dollars because the truth has got to get out. The dark skin activist story has got to get out. So go and make sure you make a donation. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you share the video. And I want to thank everybody for taking the time to watch. Rashida Strober is the only person in the world to focus exclusively on dark skin and has been doing so since 1998, as demonstrated by a 20 year body of work. Meet the founder and inventor of the first movement in history for dark skin, Rashida Strober, the world's first dark skin activist, founder of dark skin activism created in 98. She's interviewed in Harlem after her show on the dark skin activist tour. Enjoyed you so much the first time that you were on the show. She was actually one of the ones that was like, no, she has to come back. But thank you, Heather. And so I don't know, Heather, if you have a question, but we don't have a lot, a lot of time. Um, but if you don't have a question that you want to post, I just want to start off with a question that I've asked Rashida a million times before, which is what inspired her to do um, a dark skin woman's revenge. So in case y'all didn't hear the answer on my show, she can answer now. Yeah, um, just my life experiences of wanting to tell my truth. That's really tell, wanting to tell my truth. All right. In 1998, Rashida Strober created dark skin activism, the first movement in history to advocate for dark skinned people and called herself the dark skin activist. Now, I'm going to stop right there because earlier I had to let everybody know that colorism activists derives from dark skin activists. It's the same. I created that. Nobody else created that. If anybody else is saying that someone else created that, you're not being honest. Rashida created the phrases dark skin activists and dark skin activism. Rashida also coined the word darkism. She is the first person in recorded history to create a movement of this kind. She is the first artist, author, actress, YouTuber, and social commentator to focus her work only on dark skin and has been doing so proven track record since 98. The fatal mistake was to bring it to the internet where people have ripped off and stolen. Rashida Strober has wrote more books on dark skin than anybody in the world. A Dark Skin Girl's Triumph, The Rashida Strober Story, Darkism 25 Ways Dark Skin People Are Discriminated Against, How to Be the Hottest Dark Skin Chick on the Planet. This book right here has been, the content has been ripped off and stolen. 
A Dark Skin Woman's Revenge, the book and the play version. And Token Dark Girl, the it dark girl of the moment. Now, how do you think someone comes up with all this content if that's not what they really do? You can't come up with this content. I'm talking about writing books now and plays. We're not talking about making YouTube videos. You can't come up with all this content unless you're the actual creator of it. Anybody that's intelligent knows this. You can't come up with this content by sitting down, watching somebody else's videos. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, that's too easy. It's easy to sit back. I'm a writer. I'm a thinker. I'm an intellectual. This is, I'm a creator. You can't come up with this type of content without being the actual originator. And what I don't appreciate is people stealing and ripping off my originality. That is a problem. That is going to continue to be a problem until it is rectified. Period. 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 Okay. I see that we have, um, I see we have Crystalline Karazin on here. I hope I'm saying your name right from Beyond Black and White. I'm going to read all of your comments because I did make a video and I'm going to address your comments. I'm glad you're on here. I'm going to address your comments. You said, hi, Rashid. hi Rashida Crystalline here. I want to tell you that I really do appreciate the work that uh, that you do. I'm confused by why you think I don't recognize your work. You also said, as a woman who has been in social media for 10 years, I understand the frustration one feels when it feels like people don't recognize you. However, what is more important, being recognized or actually improving the plight of dark-skinned people who are discriminated against? You spend a lot of time, hold on, you spend a lot of time, see, I wish you, I, I, I would really like to address you face to face, but I'm going to address you on here since you, you're on here. I'm going to address you. But just so you know, I like to talk to people face to face and look them in the eye. This is very impromptu for those of you that are just joining. I'm on a rampage here defending my legacy and uh, Beyond Black and White has joined us with these questions I'm about to address. You say you spend a lot of time raging. Yes, I rage. And I'm going to continue to motherfucking rage because I have every right to against not being recognized perhaps more time should be spent spreading the word about the actual work you know what what's your let me let me start at the bottom you said i spent a lot of time raging against not being recognized perhaps more time should be spent spreading the word but what you don't know because you haven't really adequately researched me is that i actually spent from 1998 until 2000 until the present getting the work recognized. The reason why people even talk about colorism activism or dark skin activism is because I spent the time, the years, the dedication, putting in the work to get it recognized. Ponder that. So if a person spends that much time to get something recognized that people never heard of before, putting in blood, sweat, and tears, it makes common sense to me it's logical to me that the person actually get, gets recognized, starting from your comment from the bottom up. Let's go. Now, I'm going to take your other comments, and I'm going to tell you that I would like to thank you for your positive comments on here. I would like to thank you for your positive comments on here, because I appreciate that. So let me work my way on back up. Now, you said... I want to tell you that I really do appreciate the work you do. I'm confused by why you think I don't recognize your work. Okay, let me address that. I wish to God that I knew you was going to pop up on here. I'm, I, I would like to address you actually face to face, to be honest. But anyway, let me, let, me, let me just say this. It's not about you per se as a person, you, Crystalline, not recognizing my work. That's not what this is about. What this is about is a whole slew and gang of black people on the internet who mocked me and called me crazy for calling myself the dark skin activist. Let's go back, back in 2015, when I was crowned donkey of the day for calling out Kendrick Lamar on colorism and darkism, the first person to do this type of commentary. Black people in general, they said, you're crazy. They sent me death threats, but then they turn around on YouTube and plagiarized and ripped off every motherfucking thing I did. That's what a problem is. 
So in the aftermath of that, when I see these people that have ripped off my work, getting credit for what I have actually created, that's a no-no. I'm going to attack that quick because we got to correct that. We got to make that right. So in the, the, the context of that, what you have to understand, this is not necessarily about you. It is about any one that is giving someone else credit for what the dark skin activists created. We, I, I'm not having that. I'm not having that. And what I will say to you is I actually have respect for you. you you're one of the people that I, a, a lot of these people, I don't even respect them. I, I don't even, you know, I, a lot of them I wouldn't even uh, address. I wouldn't even say, well, people like Angel Ramirez Jordan. I already told him straight up, we're done. I ain't coming on your platform no more. You chased me. You chased me and then you ripped me off and stole from me. I don't even respect you. And then you lied to YouTube and said that a video that me and you made together was your intellectual property. And I fought you on that and won. So there's people I don't even respect. They're not even worthy of me addressing unless I deal with them in a court of law. But what I can say is I don't have that type of beef with you. What triggered me to make the video I made about you and li listen to this in this context. I have made countless videos about people who have, uh, who either I have feel have plagiarized or who I feel are giving credit to people for my work. So that's the context that we're looking at. So before I even made a video about you, I've made slews of videos about people like, um, What's Amara La Negra? It's a whole bunch of people. The reason, let me hone in on the, the reason that I have made a video about you because I've never had a beef with you at all. I don't just choose random beefs with people. That's not how I work. You, I, I actually have to see somebody do something that I feel that they shouldn't be doing and then I address it. So I was, and, and I made this video, I don't know if you watched it, but I, I, was, I was making a video on something else and in the recommendation sections, I saw something about colorism activists, dear colorism activists. I said, hold up, wait a minute. And then I realized that you were uh, addressing that to a person that has actually ripped off and stole my work. Uh-uh, uh-uh. We can't do that. We can't do that. When people, whether they do it by mistake, whether they do it on purpose, when people don't get something right, when people mess up something, when people acknowledge a person that had nothing to do with the creation of a thing, we have to address that. I have to address that. I don't let that go. And that's just not uh, targeted to you. As people that have watched me for real and really followed me, they know any i just made a video on what's this dude name the other day i can't think of uh tory i think that's his name that's getting all this credit for i believe the uh the campaign has been conjured up for claiming that he's speaking against colorism uh boo you're 20 years late i attack that shit. i sure do because we can't we we, we, we as the black community we can't go around doing this you can't go around ripping off taking uh, giving other people credit for what somebody else created. No, I, for one, am not having it. So that's the long-winded explanation for why I made that video. When I saw in, in my suggestion box, and that day I wasn't even, I wasn't, let me tell you something. I, it never crossed my mind to make a video about you at all because I had no beef. But when I seen that video, where this woman who's who I know is ripped off my work, who I know is stolen from me, plagiarized from me, undercut me, had an audience already, saw what I was doing in 2015, stole my work and took it back to her inbuilt audience. When I saw that, no, we ain't having that. We ain't, we gonna correct this. Rashida Strober is the dark skin activist. Colorism activism derives from dark skin activism, and everybody needs to understand that. That's what this is about. This is a big picture thing. This is not an, a, an, an, an attack mode thing. This is Rashida Strober, the dark skin activist, the woman who was dogged for bringing the whole entire topic of colorism to the internet 
And then people saying I'm crazy, people sending me death threats, people calling me all out my name, and then they turn around and steal and plagiarize my original work. No, I ain't having it. I ain't having it. So we so so what we have to do, what we have to do is we have to be honest and we have to tell the truth. We have to tell the truth. And what I what I know about black people on YouTube, let me tell you something. What I know about the uh, black people on YouTube, they will rip you off and steal from you and take from you. And they don't give a damn. This is how I know that black people don't give a damn about each other. Black people do not care about each other. Because anytime you can go and watch what somebody has done and you know damn well you ain't been doing none of this shit and you go and you take because you got a bigger audience, I don't give a fuck about a bigger audience. What I care about is honesty and integrity. And a lot of these black YouTubers, you don't have it. You don't fucking have it, period, period. And we can't do that. You can't do that with me. So what's going to eventually happen? What's going to eventually happen is the people that have knowingly, and these people know who they are. I know what it is. They know what it is. Y'all can say whatever y'all want. Y'all can say, I've been right. Let me tell you something. I've been right about everything, okay? They said, what the hell is a dark skin activist? And they said, ain't nobody going to listen to you talk about dark skin and colorism and all that stuff. That's what they told me. But I was right because I shut the whole Internet down in 2015 when I brought dark skin activism, a concept nobody ever heard of. And there then derived colorism, act colorism activists. Nobody ever heard of that stuff. So don't go around trying to act like you created some shit when you know you didn't, when you know you sitting back watching and studying me. That's what these motherfuckers do online. They watch you, they study you, then they steal from you. That's a fact. That is a fact. And it's a provable fact that I can definitely prove in a court of law. And that's what this is going to come to. It's just a matter of the money. It's just a matter of the money to be able to go in and pay the lawyers to bring people to justice to make people accountable. So we ain't gonna keep doing no more talking on the internet. I'm putting out this information now in the interim because I want people to understand the real true history. I don't want me to drop dead like I tell, told y'all before and people say, well, where did this whole topic of people talking about dark skin and coloring them come from and it get misconstrued and the people come in and lie. No, we're not going to do that. We're going to tell the truth. Black women on YouTube, and I've never said you, Kristen Harrison, I've never said you. You're not one of those people. Let's be clear. The reason why that video was made about you was because you were giving credit to another person. I ain't having that. But the beef has never been with you because trust me, if I have a beef with somebody, they're going to know it. They don't know it. <laughs> it's nothing to hide. I, I deal very directly with people. So what's going to have to happen is this stuff is going to have to come to a head in a court of law. And that's eventually where this is going to take place. And transcripts, our stuff, depositions, our stuff is going to be public record. So the truth is going to be told. So the, the naysayers out here, that want to act like and pretend a Rashida, you crazy, just like they were saying, you crazy for calling yourself the dark skin activist. But now I got a slew of motherfuckers on social media and TV plagiarizing and copying everything I've done. Explain that. They're going to find out in a court of law with the depositions, with all the legal things that take place when you take somebody in court, you're going to find out the truth. It's going to be public information. I like for shit to be public. Just like I told Angel Ramirez, let me talk about you. Angel Ramirez, I told you when you was coming up on my channel with this foolishness, when you was lying to YouTube saying that video back in 2015 after the case, you used me, uh, Angel Ramirez, Jordan. You approached me back in 2015 after that beef I had with Kendrick Lamar went viral to millions. You wanted a piece of that. And see, I was a bit naive a little bit. But you chased me down. You asked me for an interview. Then we both agreed that the interview was our intellectual property. Put it on both our channels. And look what you did years later. You plagiarized and then you lied to YouTube. But I won that battle because the truth is always going to win in the end. It ain't even about Rashida to struggle with the dark skin activist. It's about the truth. The truth is always going to win in the end. Understand me very clearly.
People could go along for years and lie and manipulate and steal and defraud and plagiarize, but justice does not have a date on it. Justice, truth, integrity, and honesty does not have a date on it. And I'm gonna get mine. I am going to get mine. And it's really sad that the same black women that I started this movement for was the same ones that was harassing me. The same ones that was sending death threats. The same ones that was telling me I was crazy. But then you turn around and then you plagiarize me? What the fuck kind of, this is what I'm saying. Now that's darkism. That's darkism right there. That's the real darkism. And that's the darkism that I'm gonna fight against. I'm gonna fight until I get justice, period, period. And that's what it is. That is what it is. But with that being said, um, with that being said, uh, that's my, I, I'm, I'm not going to uh, speak on the plagiarizer anymore. I just wanted to make that clear to uh, beyond black and white, uh, Kristen Karazin, I hope I'm saying your name right. I wanted to make that clear to you that the reason, the reason where you come in this is because of the video I saw that day in my suggestions where I saw this person who I know has ripped me off and stole from me. I know y'all can say what y'all want. I know what proof I have. I know. I ain't, I'm not going to even divulge all of that on YouTube. But when I saw that credit being given, nah, I couldn't do that. That's where you came in. That's why I made that video about you. And that's what it is. And um, I don't, other than, other than that, I never had a beef with you. And let me tell you something. I've had people, this is how people would do on YouTube. This is how these people, they're treacherous. They're trifling. But you, you ain't going to find treachery and trifling in my blood because I'm a straight up person. I'll deal with you head on. I've had people come to me and try to get me privately messaging me to start a beef with you by talking about you. For what? I saw no reason to. If I'm talking about something, this is why this is why I know these motherfuckers online are frauds. Talk about covers. You, you're a fucking fraud. You're not the fucking real deal. I tell you this shit to your face because you're doing it for YouTube views. It ain't from your heart. It ain't from your soul. You're a fucking fraud. All of you bitches, I'll let you know. So here's the thing. I said to these people and multiple people have came to me. Why do I need to talk to start something with somebody that I don't genuinely have a beef with? I don't. I don't honestly, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I don't I don't watch your channel. I'm just gonna be honest. Call me narcissistic and self-absorbed. It's okay, I'm telling the truth. My response to these people was I don't I don't have the beef with this woman. Why do I need to make videos? I'm not gonna do that. When y'all see me come up on social media and YouTube, you best believe this shit coming from Rashida Strober. It ain't coming from, oh, let me, I don't watch somebody else's video or I don't know. This shit, I, it gotta be inspired by Rashida Strober. By Rashida Strober. People don't run me and tell me what to do. Dark skin activism came out of my life experience for real. It ain't came from me watching a motherfucker videos on YouTube because the shit didn't exist before I created it anyway. So there was nobody to watch. Okay. So I don't go around creating beasts with people for no reason. You got to have actually done something to me for real in order for me to even speak your name like that. Okay. I, this, there has to be some type of catalyst. It ain't going to be nothing conjured up. The shit going to be real. That's just what it is. That's how I work. Okay. So the black women to the black women on you, they know who they are. They know who they are. Same thing with Angel Ramirez Jordan. He know what it is. He know. They, they, the people that I actually have beefs with over plagiarizing my work, which I do not put you in that category. My upsetness came when I saw you giving uh, recognition to a person that has stolen my work. That's my issue. But the people that I have beefs with, they know what it is. They know exactly what it is. it's no secret. I'm not here to hide. I'm here in your face 
to let you know exactly what it is. So, so that that's 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 what's going on here. And I will say, like I said, it's not a lot of people that I respect on um, this whole thing about who, uh, colorism. I wouldn't I, when Angel Ramirez. And, and this other uh, crispy burn ass chicken popped up on my live because that's what they did. I didn't. I mean, hell, I didn't tell them to come on here. I don't go on their lives. I don't give a fuck about them unless they unless I see you plagiarize my work. But when they popped up on my live, I had no words for them. I didn't even want to talk. But I don't have that towards you. Never have. My only problem and issue was seeing this person get crazy. You can't do that. We can't. We can't. We gotta. Here's the thing. I know YouTube is fun to watch. I know YouTube, you don't have to do a lot of thinking because you're sitting back watching a video and all the thinking is done for you. But here's the thing. People have become dumbed down by watching YouTube videos because they do not. You got to do your research. And if you would have done some research on me, you would have realized this. And that's the problem. And that's why I keep coming on here, putting out the truth and the knowledge and the information, because I know that. Hey, everybody ain't going to sit down and read a book, but there's a lot of damn people who will read a book because I'm going to tell you right now, uh, I don't think these colleges and universities are going out of uh, a business anytime soon. And all of them, the last time I checked, you're required to do some reading. Uh, YouTube does not suffice. You can supplement with YouTube, but I ain't going to give you the whole complete entire story. So here's the thing. When you're dealing with this whole lane and topic of dark skin activism it started with rashida strober period other black women stole my work into the story after 2015 they started stealing that is a fact that is a fact and again anybody could fact check me because i like fact checkers i don't like people that don't do their research in fact go do your research i encourage you to do your research everything that I'm saying will fact be found to be the truth. Because I already know I'm going to be vindicated. I already know that. I've already been vindicated in several different circumstances. But the ultimate vindication is coming. The ultimate vindication of every single thing that I have said since I started realizing that people were ripping off my work and calling it out, everything that I am saying is going to be vindicated. The story of the dark skin activist, the real world's first dark skin activist, the creator of colorism activism, because you can't have a colorism. Ask yourself, where in the fuck did the phrase colorism activist come from? Where did it come from? Did it pop about somebody's brain? No, it came from a black woman watching my channel, seeing me calling myself the dark skin activist and then plagiarizing. That's where it came from. Period. And anybody that's honest, anybody that's honest, anybody that's truthful, I ain't talking about the liars, this don't apply to you. Anybody that's honest and truthful, you already know this. That's it. You already know it. I don't even have to um, continue. I don't even have to continue to say it because everybody knows that the honest people, you already know the truth. All that needs to happen right now is the dark skin activists taking people to court for intellectual property infringements, for trademark infringement, and it's coming. I can't tell y'all when. It's a matter of them coins. It's a matter of money. But what I can tell you is it's coming. Right. So um, I would like to actually I would like to thank you, Kristen Karazin, for coming on here tonight. I, this was very unexpected. And uh, you are actually one of the few people that I actually <laughs> I actually respect enough to dialogue in the uh, when I see you in the chat to dialogue. You and Philip Vice people said when Philip Vice came on, it was like they couldn't believe um, I was dialoguing with him because he has a non black wife. Well, let me tell you something. What I respect is a person that's honest, upfront, and a person that is not is not uh, is unafraid. You cannot be afraid to deal with the issue. That's what I respect. Come at me with honesty. Come at me 
ready to to deal with the stuff hands on and for real and then you that's how you gain my respect but i would i don't have a beef with you regarding plagiarism at all not regarding you that's not what that is not what this is about that's not what that video is about and i want to provide clarity on that and um yeah i don't i don't i don't have i have zero beef with you i just but i did have to let you know that this person is a fraud and a liar and they have stolen and manipulated and plagiarized my work and i had to let you know that you were assigning uh credit to a person that is the wrong person that's a fact so that's what my dialogue or my monologue rather in those two videos with you was about i have zero beef otherwise than that i don't never have if i did i would have trust me i would everybody knows i would have been made a video and talked about it i would have been said what i had to say but I, I i had no beef except for that particular incident but there's only there's only one dark skin activist there's only one colorism activist y'all could be mad y'all y'all gonna y'all gonna disagree with me to the cows come home on that i don't care because it's the truth there's only one dark skin activist Colorism activist is the dark skin activist. It's just the regurgitation of my work. You're not the dark skin activist. They know who I'm talking to. You'll never be used to fucking fraud, period. Period. That's what it is. To the people that, that support my work, once again, I want to encourage you. You can go to my uh, GoFundMe and make a donation. You can go to my, um, uh, my PayPal and make a donation. Ice cream lady dream at yahoo.com. Um, the funds go towards y'all know, most of y'all already know this, it goes towards the dark skin activist tour, which I've been on since 2006, which promotes uh, the work of dark skin activism through the performing arts and also through lectures about darkism. Uh, the funds also, now the funds go to the legal defense fund of the dark skin activists so that I could take these people to court. And I know some of y'all, I love proving people wrong. Y'all say, you ain't gonna never take them to court, watch me. So the funds will go also towards raising money for the legal defense fund of the dark skin activists so that I can begin to hold people accountable for the infringement of my intellectual property. And um, to Kristen Karazin, um, once again, I wanna say thank you for coming on here and i would actually i invite and i welcome a live dialogue with you i would actually invite and welcome that because i again i have i actually have no no beef with you in that regard so i mean i'm easily contactable if and when you're ready you know where to find me you can go to my website darkskinactivist.com aka colorismactivist.com is only one and um I'm, I'm open to a uh, dialogue with you. I had no idea that you was going to be on here on this chat live, but I like to talk to people face to face. I like to look people in their eye. I like people to look me in their eye. So I am open to an open dialogue if and when you are ready. So once again, I want to thank everybody for taking the time to watch the world's first and only dark skin activist, Rashida Strober and Cola Booth. Um, I know some of these uh, people, this particular, you're trying to cause problems, but you can never, you can never make me not love Cola Booth. Let me just, let me, because I know this manipulative person is watching. Let me tell you something. You could never, there's nothing you could fucking do, because I've been the dark skin activist. I've been new about Cola Booth before social media came along. You could never break that relationship. You, because it's, it's organic. It's authentic. It's not from watching somebody video and regurgitating what they said. You could never break the bond and the love that I have for Cola Booth. Cola Booth, well, as I said it, Rashida Strober said this. I'm the one that said this. Cola Booth will always be the mother of the dark skin movement. And the reason for that is because I was aware of her before social media and I knew about her back in the 90s. And I'm an honest person. I'm not a lying, conniving, scheming, manipulative person bitch that's not how i roll i tell the truth so there's nothing you could do to break the love and the bun and the respect that i have for cola booth because that shit is 20 years deep organic the real shit the real shit not this watered down youtube fake shit it's that real shit 
that you will never know anything about because you got no authenticity, no originality. World's first and only dark skinned activist, Rashida Strober. I'm out.